Hello everyone, we thank God for this opportunity once again. I've been discussing on this channel a series on prayer. And uh, we realize that prayer is communicating with God. And the last time we were talking about why pray in the name of Jesus. Today, I want us just to talk about the role of Holy Spirit in prayer. The role of Holy Spirit in prayer. Read with me the book of uh, Romans chapter 8 from verse 26 to 27. Romans 8. 26 to 27, which says, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people. In accordance with with the will of God. Uh, the text does not uh, indicate that Holy Spirit pray instead of us. So when we talk about uh, the role of the Holy Spirit in prayer, you need to understand that Holy Spirit does not pray on our own behalf instead of us, but it means the Holy Spirit takes part with us and makes our weak prayer effective. So you need to understand that as we pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, there is a Holy Spirit which will always make our prayer effective. And therefore it's upon you to humble yourself and pray. And as you pray, you need to understand that the Holy Spirit, who understands the will of God, will come in and ensure that your prayer is effective. As human beings, we are limited. As human beings, we are full of sins. And that's why we say that even as we pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus is the perfect person who will present our prayer to God. And the Holy Spirit also, according to uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 26, says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. So you are weak. And the Spirit will come and help you. So as you go for a moment of prayer, it's not about your strength. So don't say that I am unable to pray. You need to understand that the Spirit will help you to pray in your weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. Every one of us, you need to understand that you don't know how to pray. But the Holy Spirit will come and help you. And that's why it says, but the Spirit himself intercede for us through wordless groans. It is the Spirit who will intercede for us as we present our prayers the Holy Spirit will come in and it will do the part of interceding for us. And he who searches the heart knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. So the only thing you need to do is to set time for prayer, present yourself to God and pray, and the Holy Spirit, who knows the heart of God, who knows the will of God, and who searches your heart, will intercede for you. So prayer is easy. Take it as a journey. Take it as something that you will enjoy, knowing that the Holy Spirit will stand with you. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you that during prayer, there's a role of Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit who knows your will that will help us and will make our prayer effective. Help us to understand that we need only to present ourselves to you and have time to fellowship with you in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you guys. We have just learned that Holy Spirit help us and intercede on our behalf and make our prayer perfect. On the next that we are going to learn about is going to be uh, how to the pillars of prayer. We are going to discuss about the pillars of prayer. Let's meet as we learn the first pillar of prayer. Thank you.